Welcome back to Mad Cardigan and our continuing playthrough of Skyrim Clear the Realm. Let's search this Draugr. Me and Feindall continuing to uh, make our way through this dark and dangerous dungeon. Let's see here. Keep being sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay. We're always popping out of the walls. Oh, what's that one? Oh, I don't know if I got that one or Feind all did. Ah, either way, no big deal. Like most loot uh, in this and all Bethesda games, it's all about weight to value ratio you know like iron weapons you know you get 50 20 50 100 bucks or something gold for them but they weigh 10 20 30 pounds so you want to go for the the very light very expensive stuff and some what did i just step over did i just get physics oh there's a skeleton here <laughs> How many times have I walked through here and never even known there was a skeleton with a pickaxe? Oh, this is to show you how you can mine. This is how you can get materials if you like doing it extremely slowly. I'll just show you this one time, but then I will never be mining again. <laughs> yeah, this can take an exceedingly long time. This is a very strange uh, addition to the game. Uh, I guess true purists can uh, can do it that way they can mine for all the materials but it's just easier finding them and you know, literally buying them so Let's see if we can get a sneaky shot on this draugr lady uh, I guess she who her sneak is horrible and speaking of horrible that was a horrible shot okay so she's gonna come around behind us she saw me up here for some reason let's get our Let's just do her with just flames. Let's see if our buddy Feindall can do some damage. She lost sight of us. Okay, good old sneak out of it. That's good. Hang on. I thought she was a little further down the way. Okay, so we used the flame spell and got a destruction level up. Let's get the sneaky bow back out. A lot of people miss this. There's another chest all the way down here at the bottom. Like most chests at the beginning of the game. They don't have much, but uh, I don't have much, so I guess it all evens out in the end. Quick lock. The faster that the, the pick wiggles means the further off of it you are. So if it immediately jiggles at the straight up and down position, then it means you have to move a little bit further off to the side that makes sense. It gives a little bit of wiggle before it does or a little bit of movement before it starts to wiggle then you're pretty close. It's a pretty intuitive lockpick game. Okay, there's another guy up here. Oh, he's already on the move. Wow, my sneak must be horrible. I'm wearing this heavy armor just clinking and clanking all over the place uh, moving targets I'm bad enough with stationary ones Let's see if I can get a sneaky shot in on him obstructed oh did I miss him I certainly did oh that fatal hand shot gets him every time this is a chest, an apprentice chest, so I'm not even going to waste time on it because it'll take me 10 minutes to pick this stupid thing. Pretty much the harder the chest, the uh, the smaller the uh, oh. 
increments are for the, the moving around of the pick. So you have to be so, so precise and you'll break half your picks trying to find even the, the uh, close spot to it. So I'm not a, an expert at it by any means. Red, red, red. Oh, almost made it. They make you run through this and into a dungeon. Oh, why don't you hang out there for a sec? Okay. So these hanging pots, they are basically explosive barrels for this game. You got stuff all over the floor. Okay, I've cleared that pretty efficiently. Normally, they're all over me. That wasn't horrible. Okay. Just a quick loot. Look around. Any potions when I was talking about that uh, weight to value ratio? Potions are pretty good usually. Some are better than others. That Nord Warhammer, that's another um, addition. Okay, another bow. I think it used to be just swords, uh, ancient Nord swords, axes, and um, whatchamacallit, uh, bows. But then they put in the maces and the warhammers, and so that was a pretty cool addition. Okay, alright, this is the, the lock. Okay, so we picked up that claw. And basically, when you look at any of the claws, there are several doors like this in the game. Um, on the palm of the claw is the combination to the lock. So, easy enough. Bear, moth, owl. In the spin, they each have three, three rotations. So, just spin them until it matches up. Doors are beautiful. They have teams of people that just make the doors in this game, I've heard. And they did a fine job. Bethesda's always been really good about making doors. Also, the vault doors, obviously, in, in Fallout. And Skyrim is exceptional. I can't wait for the, uh, the next Elder Scrolls game to come out. Maybe this playthrough will be so long that it will uh, take us right into the new game. Wouldn't that be neat? Wow. Would you look at that? Just a beautiful set piece. This was also in the, the preview introduction 15 years ago. Okay, we found our first uh, word of power wall. Big boy is going to pop out over here. This guy is an overlord, so he knows how to shout. He can throw your butt up against a wall real easy. And get the hell out. Oh, he missed me, thank God. You saw that. That was a, a power word. I think they want you to use yours on him, but I'm horrible about using shouts. I have hard enough time just using my normal weapons. This is a good thing. Oh, come on. Damn it, physics. Oh, damn, Feindall. You did that empty-handed? Holy shit, you're a karate master. Or do you just glitch out? Oop, carrying too much shit. Alright, we took your stuff. We'll give you some stuff in return. How about that? Not your magic stuff. Did you glitch? Pull your weapon out. Yeah, I knew it. You're impressing me, Wonder Elf. Okay. Ooh, some better iron armor. It's actually a really good thing on the armor. is a, a makes the armor, heavy armor rating even better. That's not normally something you'd find. Okay. Drop a little bit of weight. We just want to make our weight just barely because we're going straight to a trader after this. So, got to give, uh, give Lucian or whatever his name is his claw back and then sell all this uh, loot that we've got. 
So the perfect example of the the back door in the Bethesda dungeon. Where you don't have to backtrack all the way back the way you came. Basically an egress spell. Fists. Okay, more iron. Just getting rid of all my imperial stuff. Ingredients, you know, you never know. I'm, I'm not a an alchemy guy. There are some people out there that could quote you alchemy recipes for poisons and all kinds of stuff, you know. And they know exactly what you need. I'll grab it just uh, in case you ever need it. And like I said, this is going to be such a thorough playthrough. There's no telling what I'm going to need. So I don't want to need something and then have to go searching for it because that's usually as you know when it takes the longest is when you're looking for something this is one of the mods i use just to make the map a little prettier um, visually I, I think it's a whole lot better so doesn't change the game you know doesn't give you an advantage or anything it's just just pretty all right back to riverwood it's a chicken Begging to be choked. Don't mess with chickens in this game. I'm right behind you. The town's folk will hunt you down. What do you want me to carry? I want you to carry anything. I want you to give me everything back. Get you properly armed again. No more two-handed weapons. Although you did take out that Draugr Overlord. That was pretty impressive. All of this garbage. But you're not going to wear it. Okay, thank you. Lead Thanks on. for hauling that for me, man. I can slow this so heavy. Oh. Okay, before I give you your claw back, show those do some thieves business. not to steal from Luke and Valerius. The sooner you find the claw, Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Give him the claw back, he'll try to walk off. Because it's the middle of the night, so. Go ahead and do your selling first. Get rid of all this stuff. Lighten my load. Keep anything with, with magic on it. Don't need that pickaxe, I'm not going to be doing any mining. Do. So we can disenchant anything with uh, magic on it. Get rid of the heavy stuff first. I always keep like necklaces and rings and stuff. Um, they're good for uh, putting spells on later. You know, yeah, sure, one gold between friends. Come on. Surprise! You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It, it seems smaller well, this is than funny. I remember. It seems smaller from what he says. <laughs> funny thing, huh? I'm going to put this and back then look where when it belongs. He plops this thing out on the I'll counter. Look how big this. it is. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. That thing is huge. How big did he remember it? Good Lord. Thank and you so much for taking in love with care of those Watch thieves. This. The Riverwood her. Trader is back to the Just way it creepy. used to be. Hey, buddy. What are you looking at? He's like, oh, nothing. I've got your back. Uh, I'll show you what I know. training status. Yeah, see, he's got five left to do. Do, do, do. Oh, that'll get us to a level. What do you want me to carry? I want you to give me all that money back. Thank you. Let's get going. All right. Always use some health. Let's see what can we do here. Yeah, we haven't been too sneaky. A couple of those things saw us from a mile away. Now we got to run over to um, White Run. So let's get our 
flames and sword, just in case we're attacked by the um, rogue wild animals out there. Let's get the correct uh, marker up. And there it is. You can see off to the north. You usually have an arrow, and if there's a little square on the arrow, that means you have to go through a doorway in order to get to the uh, uh, arrow. You know, for those of you that haven't played. I'll do a lot of speaking as if you haven't played the game you know, before. So, hope you don't mind if you're a vet. Running through the beautiful wilderness. Jogging with the elk. He's going to stop. Oh, you're going to give me a head start? Okay. Normally you don't get that close to those guys. I don't normally hunt in this game. Uh, you know, people playing survival mode, you know, they have their bows out trying to kill that thing, just get some meat out of it, but thankfully I don't have to slaughter animals that don't try to attack me first. I hear them howling. There's wolves around here. On your guard, Fane doll. There they are. Wolves are so sneaky. Smell burning dog hair. There's usually a random event. You know, Bethesda's famous for these things. You just walk down the road and somebody or something will pop up, will happen. And it's usually different. Sometimes it's people escorting a prisoner, sometimes a, a traitor or a bard. Like, there he is, somebody. No idea who this is. Okay. He doesn't look hostile, but he is in dark robes like a bad mage. Maybe? I'm on a pilgrimage to the shrine of Azura. Oh, the he's a twilight. Azuran. In the mountains to priest. the northeast. I'll mark it on your map. Okay, thanks, buddy. Shrine of Azura. That's uh, one of the Daedric... Lords, there's a bunch of them in this game. They all have their own shrines and usually have a quest, or maybe always have a quest associated with them. And uh, artifacts, you know, they're very powerful. Like the Azura is absolutely one that, that you need. It's a fantastic one. It holds um, souls, you know, and, and you can just reuse it over and over. It's like a an infinite soul stone. So it's really good. Well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. I just got here, lady. Certainly not. But a true warrior would have relished the opportunity to take on a giant. Man, I like relish. That's why I'm here, with my shield brothers. An outsider, eh? Never heard of the Companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Companion, so Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlac Whitemane up in Yurvaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. It's a brothel. Oh, yeah, I'm on the way. Right, you guys took this dude out. Okay. Fight with us and you'll have stories to tell. Come yeah. to Is this a courier just standing out here? Usually I've been looking you. for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's oh, it. Oh yeah, these guys. Um, now that the all this new content has been added with that update, um, this is how you get the the new missions. Normally, you wouldn't see couriers for a pretty good while in this game, but yeah, it's just. Ritual site. There's a bunch of new quests. And we'll get to them eventually. We will have a very full quest log. Any of you that played this, you know how quickly your quest log will fill up. But we are going to do all of them. So, strap in. Okay, got the stables. Always good for the, get the waypoint. Those are always important. Good for fast travel. Okay, the Khajiit, kitty cats. Yes. It is all in this is another note. new quest, I think. Yeah. I think we 
can sell him uh, the Khajiit hail stuff. from a distant land called Elsewhere, bordered on the north by Cyrodiil, and the south by the glistening blue waters of the sea. Elsewhere is an arid land of deserts and rocky canyons, where the sun shines warmly, always. There are cities so ancient, the sands have swallowed them whole. But now I will say no more, for I miss my home greatly. Sounds like a desert. Take a look. Let's go ahead and see if we can't... Well, let's check his inventory real quick, see if he's got anything worth buying. Uh, got a soul, soul trap, but that's a lot of money. We need to save up for a little house, someplace to store all our stuff. So I will continue to just get rid of all the stuff I have. Just light my load. Don't normally use scrolls. I mean, you have your own magic. I've never really seen the point of scrolls. Suppose it's a maybe a role-playing thing or something. Who knows? Can't keep every little thing right now. Don't have any place to put it. May your road lead you to warm sand. You too, buddy. Looking like a sandy cat. I think uh, the next Elder Scrolls game, I believe, is going to be in the, the Red Guard area. I don't know. They might be uh, a desert-ish climate. It'd be interesting. I prefer this. I like the wooded areas and stuff. I just think there's more to see than, than just desert stuff. But Hold personal it. opinion. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Uh, this Fine. is a guaranteed persuasion. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Yeah, it helps with your speech. I don't know if you always get the the level up, but I think it all you always pass it. Talk about a dragon, everybody's ears perk up. We'll pay whatever it takes. Okay. But we Scripted must have events. more swords for the in, Imperial soldiers. All this little political intrigue going on. I just can't fill on. an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? A blacksmith shop. You can use <laughs> all of this been equipment. I my knee to Ulfric's storm cloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Hmm. Oh, I thought Plenty. she would give me uh, her I'd little side quest thing. I'd say we're prosperous enough. Most folk don't no, go hungry. Only during business if hours. They're willing to work hard. The city's ruled by the Jarl up in Dragon's Reach. That's the fortress there, up on the tall hill. But you're probably more interested in your Vasker, Mead Hall of the Companions. Their deeds of war and valor are legendary. Oh, I thought it was a brothel. Don't forget to check inside the shop. Oh, it's legendary. Courier, are you following me around? Nope. Sorry. See those Nothing. couriers that they just come and they go. It's weird that he's just standing around. Damn those gray mains to oblivion. These towns are so intricate with them. Everybody you can talk to pretty much will give you a quest. There's just so much to do in these towns. Any shrine you go to, go ahead and uh, pray. Biggest thing it does is, you know, cures your diseases. So in case you're you have something you don't even know about because you haven't checked your status, say that will hit cure it. Most of them anyway. And it also gives you a small perk. I think the Talos is like a time reduction between shouts or something like that. I usually don't even pay attention to it, but if I cross a shrine, I'll usually pray to it. I'm a multi god guy, you know. All right. The king's main hall here, the Jarl. My lord, please. This is no time What's for the rash meaning action? of this interruption? Jarl Balgruff is not receiving visitors. Oh, he'll receive me. Who's this then? Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Y 
Yarly Poo. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Yeah, well, they're trying to cut off my head. Really? You're certainly forthright about your criminal past. But a criminal it's not hitchhiking. my concern who the Imperials want to execute, especially now. What I want to know is... All these towns exactly are either allied Hagen. with the Imperials or the Stormcloaks. I think these guys are but Imperials, so they probably right. do consider me a criminal. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... That is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... I'll not stand idly by while the dragon Stomp burns it my out, home Aldi. and slaughters my people. Irileth, Keep it down. send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would yep. be best. Save it, fool. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done Whiterun a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. Steel armor, not bad. There Too is bad I got some another magic armor thing right you now. can do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps? Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Okay. So every every area has a like a capital, like this is Whiterun, and they all have a Jarl who has different political views. Pretty cool. Uh, and they all have court wizards, basically. So... Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Okay. Straight to Done. the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? Betters, eh. I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow. Find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. So if you went and got this, ah, um, the dragon stone got of that Bleak guy's claw, Barrow. but didn't continue, you already found it. You are cut you know, from through, a different to the end of that the dungeon, roots they and you'd have to go on. back and, you know, complete it. So That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. You're telling me. I mean, I'm the smartest guy I know. Where is she? Well, you missed your cue, lady. Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was oh, it? Oh, that my old buddy Al? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. They're really not that tough. I swear. Run on up here. Let's go. Listen to some more of the beautiful storyline. So, Yerileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower. Yes, and I bet this guard is going to come oh, and start interrupting the conversations. About the dragon. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it guard. from here. He's probably going to interrupt the conversation. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. 
You've earned it. Brigands, I can hand See? you. But this talk of dragons? Some in Words oh, no. mad, I'm just talking to your king. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property yeah, in the city. Yeah, he wants like five grand. Accept this gift from my personal armory. And then to furnish the damn thing. I would very much like to see this dragon. No. I okay, can't afford to risk both of you. Magic armors, which is good, okay. Pretty much every time you do a quest or, you know, clear out a dungeon and you get a bunch of gear, you always go to these tables with little skulls on them. The Arcane Enchanter. And you check the Disenchant tab, and pretty much everything that has a spell on it, one time you can destroy it and get the um, spell that was on it. I want to keep that armor... And then, after that, you can take that spell and always put it on another item. So, like this hide shield or any magic. It's a hide shield, so it's garbage. But if you get a really nice shield, you can now put that magic resistance spell on the new shield. Much, much more powerful. And we're still wearing this novice hood, so... Not ready to give that up yet. And now... See, I got that cold spell off that other item, I so I can't to see this uh, dragon take it close. off of the other one. You only have to disenchant one item to get that certain spell, and then you can use it over and over and over again. Check inventory. You guys all know I'm an inventory nut. Got to have a clear inventory. And I will hoard stuff and store stuff. You'll see, you know. Once we get our house and start, you know, getting all the stuff in it, you know, it's going to be a lot of stuff will be packed in there. Let's put it that way. But it's neat and organized. It's not not like a hoarding pile or anything. <laughs> Okie dokie. A beautiful town of White Run still holds up today. Gods and Dragon Reach now, you've seen how these games have progressed. I mean, I, if any of you have ever played the The Witcher Three, holy crap! You know that's some that's some real cities, <laughs> but that was built with computing engines that didn't exist at this time. So this still, I like its simplicity. You know, you don't have to have stuff packed on top of each other. It's, it's fantastic. Okay. Rounded off to 150. Get my stealth. Always could use an upgrade. I've got your back. I'll show Check you what I know. Can, yep, you can back us up again. What do you want me to carry? Okay. Let's get going then. So see, we're almost to level six, and like I said, you can really outdo this, and you got to be careful doing it, but. It is a useful, useful skill. The guy works for me, you know. So, I mean, I got him his girlfriend. So he owes me all this money. And paying for skills, you can, you can pay a lot sometimes, especially when they get up into the higher levels. But if they're your companion, and there are some companions that can be your companion, and they will give you some really nice skills for free. I will show you that later. And they're also... Excellent companions to have. Okay. I'm going to run out to this uh, meeting point. Wait for Irleth and her merry band. Before we go looking for this dragon. Looks like he's already been here. Set up a nice little uh, campfire over there. Okay. So if you're ever... Let me get my stuff ready. my buddy. Alright, Bandal, you ready? You can always wait. 
unlike in uh, Fallout 4 where you have to sit down to wait you can just wait whenever you want which I never understood why you have to sit down to wait <laughs> anytime Mirlith no signs of any dragon right now but it sure looks like he's been here I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Skulking like look smell for survivors. It. We need to know what we're dealing with. Okay, let's get over here. Let's whip some ass. This better not be Al. I told Al, just bail me out and then buzz off. No, get back. It's still here somewhere. Crocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Damn, Guardian, the thing can't hide. Where the hell is it? Where's this dragon? Quickly now! Talking about a full-size dragon, right? Know. Kinner, let's save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes. Find cover and make every arrow count. Certainly will from inside this building. You can get up on top of the building, but the dragon always seems to get so close to the building yeah, that I, I, I fall off, or I almost fall off half the time just trying to shoot down on it. But you want to keep a little yeah. bit of cover with this guy. He'll, uh, he'll roast you. Mirror Molnir. Your friend of Al's, huh? You don't stand a chance. Got a shop at the same store, I see. Oh, yeah. Right in the face. That was it for him. Now you're going to pay. Oh, come on, buddy. Yeah. Oh, so far. Where do you go? Where do you go? Where do you go? Okay. Yeah. The chance of me hitting a flying target is zero. Minus zero. Okay. Stationary target. Just I was so happy when they introduced crossbows into this game. They're from a DLC, but I love crossbows. <laughs> you got a cock gun back before it will fire. I'm a horrible with arrows sometimes because I get so impatient. It just bloop, drops like you just tossed a ball at somebody. Oh, damn it, damn it, physics. Come on, let me jump. Oh, God. God, he's not looking at me. Me, buddy. Just shoot in the general direction. Okay, there he is. Lob one over there. Hitting him, maybe. Hitting maybe. Come on, give me the final shot. We'll say that was me. Definitely me. Nothing like a dragon ragdolling. So many moving body parts. Watched them like roll down a hill or so funny. Mmm, you smell that, Vandal? What butt cheek? Rump roast. Okay, I don't know about y'all, but I feel great. Clear my throat. Feels like I need to clear my throat. Maybe it's a cough, maybe? A little flu. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Dragon bones and dragon scales are another crafting material, but they are really heavy. Anybody want to talk to me? Be amazed at my presence? Fine. Alright, we're heading back. Gotta go tell the Jarl how impressive I am. You already have been told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. Uh oh. All we ask. Is trying to get in. I don't care what you do or not. What you happened. You're lucky I don't toss you in jail. Now get low. Don't feel bad, guys. They barely let me in. Back. I had to be this talking about dragons. Over. That's the secret. Tell them a dragon's coming. You there? We're looking for someone in White Run. We'll pay good money for information. I think these are red guards, I believe, where the next game's going to be. That's a pretty cool. A foreigner in these lands. 
Red Guard like us. She's likely not using her true name. Cool swords too. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiterun. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. Okay, gotcha. Well, if you locate her, find us before in we go and see the Jarl, tell him how cool I am, uh, we're going to go ahead and call this part. So thank you so much for joining me on Mad Cardian, and we will see you in the next one.